time to finesse. I put some ice in your neck, but I ain't holding you back. I spend my time on a raw, super ain't saving no hoes. I don't have time to patrol. Let me break these bells right down for a second. When it touch down, ooh, I got to let make the rules. I gotta break the rules. She can't be taking no calls. So you know, I like the Vans old school. I've done a video on them in the past, expressing my love for them. Whatever. Now, the pair I had has gotten a little worn out. It's a little dirty. It's got uh, some pretty significant rips in it. And, uh, you know, I was like, you know, I'm just basically wearing just dirty shoes at this point. I look like a hobo. It's time to get some new Vans. The ones I did get, though, I actually decided to do a little DIY on them and make them a little sparkly, make them a little shiny by putting some sparkles on them, put a little glitter on them. So uh, this is how you do that. Before we get into it, the collab I just dropped with Jacob Keller is actually out right now. Also, this is not originally my idea. I got this by scrolling through an Instagram feed of a guy named Bell Beck. I don't know too much about him. I know he's associated with Murder Bravado. He's a designer. He's pretty cool. I'll scroll through his feed. He did this in a much different way, but I still got the idea from him. So credit where credit is due. Go check them out if you want to. Anyway, let's get into the video. For this, you can do whatever color of glitter you want. I chose silver, you can do gold, red, whatever you want. You can also do this as thick as you want, and I'll get into that later. But anyways, all you need is the glitter, you need some Elmer's glue, and um, I guess some masking tape. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to tape them off. Now, you can tape off the whole shoe like I did, but all you really need to tape off is the sole because you don't really want to get glitter on that, but the whole upper is probably fine. And you want to take the laces out as well because you don't want to get glue in there and mess them all up. So after you do that, you're just going to take your little cup or dish or whatever, you're mixing your glue in. You're gonna pour your Elmer's glue in it and you're gonna put them on a glitter you want. Now it's kind of hard to see how much glitter is in it, so it's kind of a trial and error. I started out with a very small amount of glitter. I added a little bit incrementally to see how um, dense I wanted it. I didn't want it too dense, I wanted it kind of like a subtle look. So after I got that consistency, I just painted over the whole shoe. I did it on both shoes. Now this right here, once you're at this step, you're pretty much good to go. If you get the shoes super wet, it's probably gonna come off, which is kind of a bummer. So this next step is for people but real try hard and really want these things to last. So you can get this certain kind of spray, I'm not sure the name of it, some kind of clear coat for paintings, whatever. And uh, basically it's like a water sealant, it's gonna keep it all in place, it's not gonna let the glitter fall off. So after I glued it and they dried, I sprayed it over with this and that basically made it permanent. This is optional as well. Um, I mean, this isn't that hard to do, so if it did get ruined, you could pretty much redo it very easily. I like the consistency I did because it's kind of subtle, it's not like super dense, but it's there, you, know, you can notice it when you're walking by it. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. That's the whole video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos uh, and following me wherever you want to. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Jacob. Peace out you guys. Take care.